This is the how to make a website header tutorial. We're going to make the header in four layers. Uh, we need a background layer and then a headshot layer. We're going to put some ninjas on a layer and then finally we'll have the website text on layer four. First let's make layer one, the background. First we're going to set the canvas size to the size of our website header. So here in the width I'm going to type 776 and the height is 136. I've turned off maintain aspect ratio so I can set the width and height independently. Now let's make layer 2, the headshot. I'm going to go get a picture of a head, a boy's head. Here it is right here. And it's got a white background and I want to make that clear or transparent so that it's see-through. Now you can switch back and forth between the project the website header and the boy's picture. I'm going to use the magic wand and click right in this white background and then I'll click delete to remove the background. If you need to change the sensitivity you use that tolerance slider at the top. Here I'm clicking and deleting and now that I can see those checkerboard squares I know that the background is transparent. Now I'm going to select the picture with the arrow tool and I'm going to make a copy of it. So I go to edit, copy and then I'm going to switch back over to the website header right here and I'll paste the boy's picture right into a layer on this header. So edit paste into new layer and it's asking me if I want to keep the canvas size of the header or let it change and I want to keep it. So here is the picture of the boy and I'll just slide it in there and have his eyes sort of peeking through the header. And I hit escape on the keyboard to get rid of the box around the picture. And next we're going to make layer 3. We're going to add the ninjas. So same thing, I go to file, open, and I've got some pictures of some ninjas right here. Once again, I want to delete that white background and make the background clear. Now, again, you can see the three pictures at the top and you can switch between any picture that you want. There's the boy, there's the header. Right now, we're just working on the ninjas. Now, I'm going to need the magic wand tool again on the toolbar. So I click the magic wand and I'll click on the white background and then click delete. Click and delete, click and delete, and so on. And when I see the checkerboard squares I know that my background is now clear. And I click on the arrow again and I will select this picture and make a copy of it. And then I'm going to switch back over to the header and then paste that picture in there. So there's my header with the boy in it now. And I'm going to go back over to edit, paste into new layer. And again I'm going to keep the canvas size. And let me 
position my ninjas. If you want to resize them, you can hold down the shift button and drag a corner and that will change the size of both sides at the same time. So it doesn't get too skinny or get too wide. Now we're going to go back to layer 1 because I want to add some color to the layer and then we're going to add some fire. So change to the background layer by clicking it. When you see it's got that blue highlighting, you know it, you're working on that layer. So I'll get the bucket, the paint bucket, and I'll get some black paint. And I'm just testing to see if I'm on the right layer. I just filled the background layer and it works fine. Now I'm going to use this gradient tool and check to see that it's in color mode, that the gradient will make colors. And I'll take this linear gradient. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the side and drag the gradient across the header. This is what I need to do in order to make the fire. All right, now I'm going to go over here to Effects. and render fire. And you can see a little bit of fire already showing up there. And you can use these sliders to change the fire's appearance. And just experiment with each slider to see what it does and to give you the effect that you like. That's looking pretty good. All right. I think that's I think that's just right. Now we're going to make the final layer, which is our header text on layer four. I'm going to add a text layer, so I go to layer add new layer and down here you can see that layer 4 is a little bit low. I'm going to use these arrows so I can show you how to move it up. You can move a layer upwards like that just using the arrow. I want the text layer on top so I can write on it and still see underneath it. So I use the text tool and I'll choose a large font and right through here I've got sort of a ninja looking font called Ninja Naruto. I found that on the internet just looking around. Now I'm going to try to enhance that with a little bit of outline. So I'm going to use the outline object tool and you can change the color of the outline with this color wheel. So here's white for example and I think I'll just test a few other colors to see which one I like. There's also some sliders over here and you can adjust those and get some color change there. Okay, and then this will make the outline larger or smaller. And that looks pretty good. Now the next thing I need to do is save my header. So I'll go to File, Save As. And I'm going to save this as a PNG type. I like PNGs. They're nice and clear and sharp. And I'll call this header logo Naruto. 
and you just push OK here. There's nothing to change. And then I'm going to flatten the images. That's going to take all four of those layers and flatten them into a single layer. There. That looks good. Here's how the completed header looks on a website. And there we have it. Thanks for watching.